Live, take a look here at these new photos shedding light once again on the growing health concerns there at the Grant Sawyer building. This time you could actually see two people wearing what looks like hazmat suits. That's right. We have been telling you about these mold and dust issues for months now. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live from there tonight, getting answers from the state in a story that you asked us to investigate over and over again. Leslie. Trisha, Todd, the state tells us earlier this year they began repairs here at the Grant Sawyer building. So when we saw this photo, we thought maybe they were just a part of the cleanup crew. Instead, we quickly learned they are not. We are hearing stories tonight from employees who are once again concerned about their health. Mold, no AC, pigeon droppings, and now people walking into the Grant Sawyer building wearing what look like hazmat suits. When I saw those pictures that somebody had taken of the hazmat, I thought, I think you people need to see this. Since the beginning of the year, the state claims they have started day and night repairs of the Grant Sawyer building. So why now is this photo being taken? Fix it, repair it, but do you have to make it worse in the process? Richard McCann doesn't work inside the Grant Sawyer building, but he represents officers who do. They say it's employees you see in the photo because the work being done during office hours is only making things worse. Tearing up the roof, they're tearing up ceilings, all this crap is coming down onto people. Things have gotten so bad that now the Secretary of State's office is moving out of the building. The state confirming to 13 Action News, the move is due to ongoing maintenance and resulting health concerns with the building that have negatively affected the SOS employees. People are sick, people are de deathly sick. Right now, the state claims they are working on larger projects at night and say they have installed new air filters. Then why are people having to wear hazmat suits to go in and move their stuff on a normal work day? Well, as you just heard, there are a lot of concerns from employees about this building. But coming up at 6 p.m., what the state says a doctor found once he was sent inside the building to test the air. Reporting live, Leslie Money, 13 Action News. Leslie, thank you. And we looked into this after a viewer reached out to us. As always, if you have a problem you would like us to check out, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number.